Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Colonel J.S. Wilk, a retired defense officer with a service of about 30 years. After having hanged my uniform about a decade back, I have been associated with a multinational company named Eurotech Assessment and Certification Services Private Limited, Mahali, adjoining Chandigarh. I had the fortune of being a qualified certified welder inspector, that is CWI, from a reputed American welding society, USA, and also a qualified lead auditor from CQI IRCA, UK. Today, we will be touching upon a welding training course, which is named as a ISO 14731 version 2019. This is regarding the welding coordination and its roles and responsibilities. We'll see this in detail in the further slides. The course ISO 14731 is being conducted by Eurotech Assessment and Certification Services Private Limited. And this is the latest standard regarding the welding coordination, our coordinators, and its roles and responsibilities. So it, basically, it is to make the people understand about the intent and the application of the standard. Secondly, uh, this standard is associated along with two more standards, which are ISO 3834, 2015, as well as ISO 14732, which is regarding the welding of the operator. What is a ISO 14731? So it is a basically a special process which requires coordination and welding operations. What for what? For welding fabrication and reliable performance. That is that we need to have a special process whereby we coordinate the welding operations. What to do? Basically welding fab fabrication and reliable performance. The task and responsibilities of the persons. Persons here are, that is, the welding inspector, welding managers, that is, QA, QC managers. It can be coordinators, supervisors, or it can be welders also. And they are involved in welding related activities. Or which are these activities? These are planning. Planning how the welding has to be carried out right from stage, uh, initial stage, how to execute this plan and how we are going to supervise this and thereafter carrying on the inspection, inspection during before the welding, during the welding and after the welding, this will be clearly defined. So basically, this is regarding the welding coordinator, what all the processes he'll be going through and uh, what are the his tasks and responsibilities have been listed uh, in this uh, standard? As we have already spoken about the three standards, which are interlinked to each other. That is basically, this is 14731 2019, which is about the welding coordination roles and responsibility. And the part of it is basically, and one of the next B is the ISO 3834. Uh, part two, but it has got five parts. So part two is the mostly uh, more important one, which is a part of this uh, standard. And uh, the coordinator is also supposed to know the, about the uh, welding personnel, basically the welding operators. So since he'll be supervising and coordinating the personnel and operators, so he, he should be aware of their qualifications, testing, and welding operation. So these three processes are interlinked and uh, they have to be uh, 
understood in uh, conjunction with each other. In part one, which is basically the introduction which I have covered. In the second part, that is the second uh, uh, video that we'll be making. In this, in that, we'll be covering the the basically the layout of the standard and the contents, including the ISO 3835. Uh, three, four. Uh, these are the contents that we'll be covering. And uh, in the final part of the video, where that will be the part three, uh, where the basic welding technologies, concepts, which are basically related to a particular welder, uh, will be discussed since the supervisor and the coordinators are going to supervise the welders, and uh, therefore their uh, job and uh, their uh, capabilities uh, should be monitored and uh, supervised by the coordinator. Now, uh, coming to uh, the end of the part one, we uh, have a free welding webinar uh, where uh, it is uh, totally free and the candidates are, uh, uh, they can register themselves by sending us their names, email ID and mobile phone number to our contacts which are listed below and uh, they can register and once we have adequate number of candidates we will be uh, conducting a free uh, welding webinar online and uh, the candidates if they are interested they are most welcome to uh, carry out the practical training at our Mohali office at joining Chandigarh and also since we are conducting large number of uh, welding training courses uh, uh, which are under the preview of uh, American Welding Society, USA. So they can register and uh, do any of these courses. So th here we come to the end of the part one, and I'm sure that you will be back with us in the part two of the video regarding the coordinator's roles and responsibility. Thank you very much.